Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another session of ServiceNow Express video blog posts on the concept of record producers. So you have your self-service portal, you're trying to standardize the way your end users are making requests from your help desk, but simply having items like create incident, a password reset, report outage may not be enough. Maybe you want to go ahead and auto escalate or auto route a different incident ticket with different selections that take in different criteria. So how do you set up this extra catalog item that then generates a ServiceNow incident? So the answer to create any record on any table via a service catalog item is through what we call record producers. So let's transition now over to the view of a system administrator. And let's search for our current record producers. And you'll notice that on top of my out of box ones, I've created a number of extra record producers only visible by certain users. But let's talk about creating a new record producer. So the first thing we're going to do is give our record producer a name. In this case, let's go ahead and walk through an example of ticket language conversion request. So what we're going to do is we've got a ticket and we're going to create an incident we're asking to convert the language on this. I'm going to select a table name then to create this record on. So keep in mind it doesn't have to be incident, it's any table in your system. You can have a service catalog record producer writing a new record to that table. So then we'll give it a short description, and this is the short description of the record producer, so not the field on the form it's going to create, and we're going to call it submit language conversion request. I can then put in a full description of additional information, you know, submit language conversion request of your ticket to English. I can see when I go back here that I could also add an icon and a picture. Well, in terms of the service catalog rendering, so you've got name, short description, description, and then you've got also your icon here. But on top of the icon, we've got that picture image, which is what you would see if you clicked into the record producer. So let's head back now. You'll see that my icon is that tiny image that I see at first. So I'll go ahead, do something related to language conversions here. So let me go ahead and see if I could find a picture. Let's see if we could find that icon. There it is. And simply add that in there and press OK. So I've got my icon set. I'm going to leave my pictures blank. But I could also pick if I want this item, this uh, mobile image, to come up on desktop or just on mobile or not. The next item I can do then is I'm going to specify exactly what the generated record data will be. So this is for if you want to have a templated request, such as this ticket language conversion request, it's going to be a specific niche request. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll auto set the category to a specific item, I'll auto set the subcategory to a specific item, we'll automatically set our assignment group and our assigned to value to a specific member. So keep in mind, by having new record producers that pre have predefined routing with template values, you can completely standardize how certain incidents are being created and the value that their fields have. So this category, it's going to be inquiry help. In the subcategory, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say, this is an issue related to memory. Then we're going to set our assigned to field so maybe our user Beth, she's a translation expert. I can take her and automatically assign her to that assign to field. Additionally, if I want a specific assignment group, such as, you know, maybe I've got a group in my department that's my service desk group and they handle translations, I can assign them as well. So you could add any number of additional templated values that are statically going to be, so to speak, hard-coded anytime an incident is submitted from this record producer. But if you want a more dynamic selection on the record that gets created, that's where variables come into play. So variables allows you to map any field to any other form item. So let's jump back here to this view. You know, after Joe Employee submitted his short description, let's say, issue with language conversion. So this is my existing record producer. This short description field here we're actually going to map that to my ticket short description field. Any selections he did, like on category inquiry help, 
we're going to map that to this category field. So these are two different fields between record producer and form. They aren't the same thing. You have to map those to get that data over. So let's take a look at how that's done. You simply come into your variables. Let's make a new variable here. and Let me save my changes I've done so far for this ticket language conversion request. And let me add one variable, you know, for who, what needs to be converted. Let's say what text needs to be converted. And I'll go ahead and say this is a multi-line text box. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll map this. So map to field. I'm going to map this to the description field of the resulting incident ticket. So maybe we also want to add another reference field to have a new location being set. So I'm going to specify, I want to map this to a field. I'm going to map my location and I'm going to take it from the reference field in my variable. So I'm going to say what location is this translation for? I'll do a type specification. I'll go ahead and select this is a reference to the location table. And then I can go ahead and submit that. So what I've done now is I've created two items. One, a simple text reference. We're mapping a number of text to description field. Another, a reference field for location that we're mapping to the location field on the incident. So let's just do one final one. You know, maybe we wanted to do what's the priority of this request. So I'll create another one, and this will be a choice field. So we could do multiple choice. I'll say, what is the priority? And I'll only give two values, one or two. But we also want to map this, don't forget, to our priority field on the incident ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to map that. I'll make sure my specifications are correct. And I'll press submit. So one item tonight with choice fields is first you make the overarching choice container, this multiple choice here, and then you select your choice questions. So under this choice field, I've got a number of question choices. So we're just going to say, you know, priority one, we'll give it a value of one. Priority of two, we'll give it a value of two. So very easy to set up, and these are all now mapping to my relevant priority field. So let me head back and let's round up what we did so far. We created a new record producer, selected what table this record will create on. Now the final thing is let's go under accessibility and say where to put it. So I'm going to say I want to put this under get help and no roles are required to be able to view this. So if you want to do access control on who can use this record producer, it would be through this role section here. I specified what it will contain in terms of the actual text and images, and I've templated my generated record data. But on top of that, I've made dynamic variables. So let's add one final variable for short description. You know, I'll just say short description. This will be a single line of text, and I'm going to map this to the short description field. I'm going to say short description of conversion. And I'll go ahead and press submit. So the last item we have to do if we want is specify the order number that these variables will come in. So first I want to ask for the description. We'll set that to 10. Then I want to ask for the priority. I'll set that to 20. Then I'll do the location 30 and the text to be converted 40. So the lower the order number the higher up it's going to appear on the form. So let's head back now, update this as Joe employee, and take a look at creating a new record with our new record producer. You'll see we've got that ticket language conversion request with the icon we specified. And if we click into that, it's got those four variables with the exact breakdown of order we wanted. So short description, let's say translate to Chinese. I'm going to say this is priority one. This is being translated for the San Diego location, and I need to convert it, hello, please buy our product. I simply press submit, and you'll see just like that, our record producer is a success. Short description map translate to Chinese. Category was inquiry help by our template, assigned to an assignment group, all from our template are set to Beth and Service Desk. But also, per our variable selection, the priority of this ticket has been set to 1. So in the back end, the location has also been set for our mapping, as well as the description. So very easy going from an idea of a service request you want to standardize with an incident to be created with a record producer in ServiceNow. If you have any questions or comments or future requests, feel free to send those in. Thank you.